How's it going, guys? Drigas here, and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. So today, we're going to be focusing on, again, trying to deal with this contaminated water. I definitely do want to get my piping done today. We're just going to kind of have a little bit more of a risky day and uh, just try out some of these things that I've been wanting to do. Because I've been really scared of killing my colonist here. For good reason, I feel like you guys would get upset regarding it too, but today we're definitely going to do some things that I haven't done yet, uh, kind of intentionally waiting because I really don't know how they work, but we're going to try to do it today. So first of all, I want to dig down, I want to make a big, actually I might, might even open up this, um, oh there's actually oxygen over here, there's breathable gas, I thought that was a vacuum over here, so you know what, we totally can open that up and maybe flood this out, so you know what I'm going to do, I'm going to... Uh, do a change of plans now. We're actually going to dig this out because we can get all the algae in here. There's so many plants in here. This is a really good spot for resources. So I'm just going to dig on the side of this ladder and we're going to dig into this room and I'm going to build all the way. Well, I don't want to dig too far because there's some uh, chlorine down here and I definitely don't want to screw with that. But I'm going to make kind of like a reservoir over here and maybe even build this upwards and then drop this water down inside of it. I might even drop this water over to it as well. So we're going to do that for right now. Let's uh, prioritize this as I think we're going to do a 7. It's not totally a necessity, but I definitely do want to focus on that today. Also, we're going to have to build a ladder, obviously, down here. And we'll make it go all the way to the ground, more or less. Okay, so there we go. Those guys are going to do that. Also, we want to make sure our research is working. I don't even remember what we were researching here, so let me see. That's right, we were doing advanced filtration, so this is going to be a good time to get this anyways. I do want to get that air scrubber because our air is getting a little bit worse every day. You can see there's some random stuff going about. Actually, they're already building my uh, water purifier as well. We'll get into that later. You can see the pipes are there. This is not going to be used anytime soon, though, because I want to make sure my clean water is safe first, and then we'll get into that. All right, and I did notice a pond starting to dig here. You can see we got some contaminated oxygen here as well as carbon dioxide. So that's a little bit worrisome. We should be able to deal with that, though. It's probably spreading from over here because I looked over here. There wasn't anything actually doing this. So hopefully once we dig through, these guys should be okay. They're obviously going to have some hard times breathing down here. Uh, but we still have these algae terrariums up here. We might put some more over here as well just to be safe. Okay, but that opened up, so that should hopefully spread the oxygen through. Yes, there we go. And now, as you can see, it's turned to more or less breathable. So there we go. We open this thing up. We can probably harvest a lot of these, too. These are all ready for harvest. I don't even know if I want to get rid of them, uh, because obviously those are going to be useful. All right, but let's tell them to harvest these, and then we will just uproot them, because uh, I think having a watering hole is a little bit more important. They're going to bed right now, though, so there we go. And everybody now has a bed. Tyson has joined them finally. I think Tyson slept on the ground last night, so that's good. How are these doing as well? These are actually almost ready to harvest as well. So we're going to get the lice loaves today, which are going to help with uh, diseases. All right, good morning, my fellow citizens. Everybody is going down here. So either they got a poop or they're actually, oh, they're actually working for once. Nice. All right, so we're going to be able to go down here. These guys are going to harvest these real quick. Uh, and then we're actually going to start digging this out. So... We're going to do a lot of digging right now. Let's go. I want to zoom out make sure everything's okay. We're going to go all the way nearly impenetrable. Okay, very firm. I just want to make sure. Nearly impenetrable. Obviously, we're going to have a hard time getting through that. So we'll do that. And we will also get rid of all of this. And we'll prioritize all of that like an 8. So now, once this is done, we can just open up this wall and let it go through. I'm hoping this wall can support itself long enough, because obviously if it breaks through, we're going to have another issue as well. Let's also uh, sweep up this if we can. I want to make sure uh, my inventory is okay right now. Actually, we do got totally full inventory, so once again, we will turn this to a priority number nine here because we do need some more storage and i'm gonna focus on bringing this out as well and putting some more storage in here because obviously we need quite a bit of it oh um, shit we must have had a bad sleep because she's sleeping quite literally on the job so yeah she's tired narcoleptic sleep uh she just got a restful sleep though so good for her uh shit weed is now totally fine uh, how are we doing up here we still gotta dig all this out i've been waiting patiently they still haven't put in this floor either driving me absolutely nuts and it looks like yes they are coming down here to do some work now is what how, what did you find to eat here i'm assuming he harvested something 
and then started eating. But yeah, they're going to start digging this out. I wish they would go to the top first, because they might not actually be able to reach that. But whatever, it's all good. All right, and looks like, yes, our research is done. So that gave us the um, air scrubber, filters carbon dioxide, and removes it from the air, which is huge. We also got the liquid filter as well as, uh, I believe, the gas filter as well. So that's good. Let's figure out uh, the next research. We're just going to want to constantly do research here. The next one I want to get, or the biggest thing I want to get, is the mechanized airlock. So we're going to do gas piping really quickly. That should hopefully not take much time, and that only takes one station, so that's going to be one less scientist, so hopefully we have one more digger. All right, I prioritized this to an eight, and immediately, as you can see, they decided to come over here and do it. So, you know what? That's totally fine. We're going to put up some more storage here, lots of storage, because we desperately need it. So that should give us more than enough for right now. You can see the other one's almost already full. Let's see how they're doing down here. I think they kind of left this place now that I told them to do this, but they seem to really listen over here, so that's good. We got a bunch more algae. Hopefully nothing else falls into my water there and contaminates it even more, but there we go. And they're also cleaning the water over here, as you can see, so hopefully this uh, lowers the amount of contamination. Uh, fudge doesn't, or Tyson Fudge doesn't seem to like to do this too much, but it seems to be working, so that's good. I didn't realize you could mop literally inside the water, so we might actually... Ooh, what the heck? Who who dropped a, a freaking bottle of water down here? Are you guys serious? All right, well, let's prioritize this as... You know what? We're going to do this as a 9 as well, because I want to clean my water as quickly as possible. So hopefully, this will slower this contamination issue that we've been having. Okay, this is kind of worrying me, guys. There's a lot of people underneath water right now. Thankfully, I think they're smart enough to take a breath. But as you can see, the water is cleaning now, so that's huge. That's all I wanted, so maybe I'll just actually use this place over here as a contamination pit. We can pit the water from over here all the way down to here and actually clean it. I think that might be a better idea. And as you can see, this looks way better now. Uh, we have a lot of carbon dioxide in there. All right, but that's good, and it looks like, uh, is this some uh, midnight pooping together? This is kind of weird. Navy Otter... And Shannon decided to go poop at the same time. Everybody else sleeping in sound right now. Let's actually look at the oxygen because we still have insufficient oxygen generation, uh, which is going to be an issue. I definitely do want to focus on different methods of oxygen today. Uh, definitely the um, electrolyzer will be good. Produces a steady supply of oxygen using piped in water. So maybe I can actually just use this contaminated water to make oxygen and that's it. Now we do have... Um, the water purifier already up here, so that's good to have, and also the electrolyzer. All right, and look at that, guys. It's actually harvest day, and now it all makes sense. Look at those gross lice just going all around the plant. So we're going to get uh, the harvest done today as well. I think I'll also expand this out because I, I, do, I do really like the farming of this. So before we actually harvest, let's uh, build these things so they all grow at the same time. So we're going to build one, two, three more planter boxes, and then we're going to put... Well, we'll do three more on this side, and then we'll put a light right here. And that's the perfect setup. So we got this whole floor as the plantation floor. So now all we need is the floor lamp. There we go, and you can see that perfectly spreads across all the plants. So that's the best setup, and we're going to prioritize this. We have a lot of high priority right now, so I'm going to actually cancel this. We don't really need this chopped right now. I don't even think they can reach it. That's why they're not doing it. Uh, like, the, I, I got a lot of high-priority stuff right now, so they're probably running around, you know, freaking out right now. They're cleaning the water, though. That's the biggest thing I wanted, and most of them are just trying to get their breath right now. So, we'll prioritize this as a seven. I don't need food right now, but I definitely do want to get it by the end of this episode. So, I'm kind of at a predicament. Do I want to build this as my contaminated water tank or do I want to bring my other water over now that I scrubbed the water my whole goal was to just clean this water and now that it's actually clean I don't think it's really going to be much of an issue so I think I'm going to try and pump my contaminated water to clean water all the way over here so we're going to still get this thing all mined out I'm also going to put up a wall on this side because I don't want this breaking through again I mean it's going to be clean water anyways but still just in case all right, you can actually see cleaning it. I don't know if we're just using a lot of it, but I think cleaning it lost a lot of the water as well. So that might be an issue with cleaning it. You can see there's actually no water on this side now, so it's totally safe to just even walk in here. Uh, it was up to like here before, wasn't it? So I'm a little worried that cleaning it just actually wasted. I'm also seeing a smog here. Okay, that's just carbon dioxide. Not the biggest issue, just a little bit of a worry. 
Oh yeah, you can actually see it going away, so that's what they're getting rid of. They're actually getting rid of the contaminated water, and it's actually wasting a lot of it. So, good to know. We did waste a lot of water here, so that's actually a little bit more worrisome. I'm wondering, though, if I break through this wall over here, I think all the water will go down to there. And I think that's kind of what I want to do. This is all clean right here now, but it's right by my contamination. I don't want to risk it. I also risk, uh, again, this wall has been worrying me for a while now. This wall can break through, and then, you know, water will get everywhere. But if I break over this, I think it will just fall right down. So, yeah, fuck it. We're going to do it and just see what happens here, because this is all about experimentation. So, we'll just do that. Let's prioritize that as a nine. Hopefully, this doesn't kill one of my... Uh, fellow citizens here because uh, I think there's gonna be a big wave coming through there all right of course sea tops on the job we got Tyson here as well and this is going to be pretty interesting to watch <laughs> I'm a little scared of what's gonna happen here but it's it's, it's got to work totally fine right so there we go the water or sorry the dam is broken and here comes the water now this should hopefully go down here oh god <laughs> guys get out it's, it's gonna be bad real quick Ah, oh, this is so cool to watch, though. It doesn't work as you would expect it to. You expect it to just flow right down, but it slowly comes. And there we go, as I suspected. Navy Otter is getting a little bit of a rain shower right now with clean and perfect water. And this is going to give us a lot more space for oxygen as well. All right, so that worked out. That wasn't as bad as I thought. And now we got a bunch more water over here. Okay, so we also got a new printing pod, or a new duplicate, rather. So let's go see what the type of duplicates we have. We got another athletics with medicine. Unfortunately, she's a loud sleeper, and you guys told me that that is a very bad stat. It will wake up everybody uh, and make everybody pissed off. Now, this guy's got seven digging. I do like the idea of miners. Uh, tinkering as well is going to be really good. Irritable bowel. Stupid it takes a little bit longer to do their business. That's actually not bad at all. So I think we're going to go for Blanche. All right, and I asked you guys what was your most embarrassing moment and the best one would it get in the game. And, of course, Chicken Lord said his most embarrassing moment was when he saw my channel. So fuck you, Chicken Lord, and you're going to enjoy dying when I kill you. All right, so the next one, how about just the funniest name you guys can think of? So let me know a bunch of names. The one that's probably upvoted the most, assuming it's not, you know, racist or anything, uh, will be put in the game. So feel free to name anything you want. Don't, I mean, it could be your name if it's a funny one, or it can be a, something totally random as well. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. But for right now, Chicken Lord's here with his stupid little blonde fro. And, uh, yeah, we're going to intentionally put him in dangerous situations until he dies. Starting off good. Chicken Lord's going down into here. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, looks like he's gonna scrub a little bit. Yeah, there you go, Chicken Lord. Aren't you glad you're part of the family now, bitch? There you go. Some water on your head. You're scrubbing the floor. It's great. Now, I'm worried. Am I losing a lot of water scrubbing this? I feel like I don't even need to scrub it anymore. But, obviously, he's scrubbing something, so there has to be some need for it. They're also... They just keep scrubbing over here. Maybe I should tell them to kind of cancel this i'm a little worried now i'm losing all my water so yeah guys you scrubbed it well let's just cancel now and not waste any more water i think it just keeps going all right it's also saying now i'm just actually noticing i'm looking around and my oxygenators are not working i'm actually at max gas pressure so that means i'm actually going to need to go into some of these vacuums to kind of get more space because once we pressurize this too much uh obviously bad things are going to happen so once again, we're going to do some more digging today. I'm going to dig this out. Uh, we're going to, you know what, let's just dig the roof to even this out a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Lots of digging. And also, I think I'll just make the ladder go up and kind of explore these vacuum chambers as well. So let's do that. Uh, ladder is going to go right up to the roof. And we're going to go into this one and then go all the way down around here. All right, another day, another dollar, and I totally forgot to make Chicken Lord a bed. Oh, that's too bad. I'm so sorry, Chicken Lord. <laughs> let's, let's actually get on to that, though. I, I don't mean to be an asshole to Chicken Lord. I'm just totally kidding. Uh, I did like his joke, so we'll build that cot. It seems like every day, the starting day, you're going to have to sleep on the ground anyways because they don't want to build the cots. Um, what else do we want to do here? So we expand. We're starting to expand this out. We're doing a lot all at once, basically. We're making kind of a, a pool over here for my contaminated water issue. And also, I'm trying to expand out into the vacuums because we're having pressure issues. Which I don't know how to relieve aside from just, you know, expanding your base, making it larger. So you can fill it with more gases. Uh, research is complete, though. We, uh, got the air scrubber. Oh, this is actually the old one. And what's the next one? A gas pipe bridge. Uh, did we already? Oh, no. Gas 
pipeping technology. So that's the one we went into. Uh, now we can actually go to the next thing, though. Select research, and this is the pressure management that I wanted. So liquid valve, gas valve, and mechanized airlock. So valve's very important, as well as the mechanized airlock. We're going to go into that and hopefully research that by the end of this episode. All right, we definitely need to work on our power, too, though. We still have this tiny battery. I do want to get some more power, though, because that doesn't last throughout the night. So we have real batteries now. We may as well uh, do a couple of these, connect those to the power line as well, so we can hopefully keep some more power, because if nobody's running, we're running into issues here. So let's just uh, connect these together. I, I really should hide all these power lines in the ground. I know, guys, I kind of set this up wrong to begin with. So, hopefully, it's not a huge issue. We can always change that later on once this base is more streamlined. But you can see they're now digging down here. They're kind of digging. I'm worried they're going to get trapped in there because they're digging really weird spots. They actually might be trapped already, so we might need to save them. Because uh, I don't know if they can reach this fucking ladder. So, there you go, guys. Somebody's going to have to come down and build that. I think C-Top's got your back, guys. Or he's just going to be an idiot and jump down. We'll find out. Oh, no. He's just... He's, he's digging as well. Okay. Alright, looks like the water has almost all flown down there, and we basically got the same amount we had before uh, when we cleaned it. So, that whole pool didn't really help us too much, but we got some more room over here for other things as well. We can obviously explore over there, maybe bring the contaminated water over there. We can always close this off and make a little contamination pool, which will be cool, actually. So, maybe we will do that. I don't know yet. Okay, Mystique is not looking too good. He's actually foaming at the mouth. Interrupted sleep, cannot reach food. Okay, Navy Otter, I hope has your back. All right, we got to prioritize this damn ladder now. They, they're, they're not the smartest citizens, I'll tell you that much. They dig, and they do their job, but they forget how to escape. So, hopefully... All right, this guy really needs food. I'm hoping there's some food in here. Obviously, Hideki was smart enough to find some. I don't think Mystique is, though. Thankfully, they can make their own ladder to escape. <laughs> Holy shit. And hopefully that's enough to allow him to grab it. We'll see. No, he's actually still digging. So I don't know if it's just because he's stupid and he doesn't want to go get food. But let's build a couple more ladders because they're going to need them. Yes, I know you're hungry. You're welcome to grab this ladder and go up. Chicken Lord's coming down here to help. All right, everybody's coming down here to help. Actually, did Chicken Lord level up or did Shitweed? I think Shitweed did. Uh, Chicken Lord has a sore back. We might need to use that massage table then. Let's, uh... Let's do that. You know what? We were kind of mean to Chicken Lord, and I do want to go on his right side. So, yeah, we'll tell him to have a nice massage, and hopefully that will fix his sore back. All right, good news, though. Our plants are now planted, as you can see. We got lots of mealwood seeds, so we're going to plant all mealwood here. Again, we want to make those lice loaves, so I want a mealwood plantation all the way through. And now it's actually going to allow us to harvest these as well. So our first mealwood harvest... Kind of exciting. We actually got lots of seeds now, too, which is good. Uh, I need to actually attach power to that as well. I totally forgot about that. So, electrical wire. There we go. And we will connect it to that. Perfect. All right, let's get them to harvest these while they're up here as well. So, the big harvest. Actually, did they already harvest them? I think they did without me asking. Uh, they're actually... Oh, no, they are still ready to harvest. We don't see the bugs going around, though. They must actually be sleeping throughout the day. But there we go. Oh, yeah, look at this one. Hopefully now we can actually go over to the uh, microbe musher and make lice loaves finally. So let's get a bunch of lice loaves in queue because we're going to have the, the maggots to use them. You can see the meal lice right there. They're actually eating the meal lice. No, no, cook them first. <laughs> God damn it. They're so hungry. They're just eating them right away. Seriously, guys, that's just gross. At, at least Hideki's smart. He delivered 10, or sorry, 15 kgs of meal lice. So thank you, Hideki. Uh, the rest of them are clearly eating it. See, these guys, you, you all are worthless, seriously. All right, we also got some rare seeds here, so let's uh, make the bedroom a little bit more you know, enjoyable. So we still need to find all these rare seeds, though, because I want to get them all the way across here. And we got shit quite literally everywhere. C-Top, are you still stuck in here? How you doing, buddy? I'm, I'm a little worried about C-Top. Cannot reach food. Okay, C-Top. Like, seriously, dude. Let's, uh, let's prioritize this then. You should know in a survival situation you guys need to do this. Thank you. And look at all the loot down here. My god, C-Top. You might not be eating, but you are working like crazy, buddy. <laughs> He's just thinking about food and, you know... Mine and rock, it's great. Okay, I think I think Tyson's got your back, C-Top, so you can actually go and get some... Oh, no, he's delivering sandstone. 
Okay, thank you, Tyson, for your great work at saving C-Top over here. Okay, C-Top has uh, resorted to saving himself, so at least I know he's smart enough to do that. Uh, oh, okay, never mind. He's still smiling. Oh, it's, what the, is it actually hard to breathe down here? It's looking like he's having a hard time. Yeah, there's... Okay, there's carbon dioxide down here. There's a little bit of everything. All right, C-Top is able to escape, though, so good. And already, I think we made three lice loaves because I queued up six of them. There's insufficient lice. Now, is there lice up here? You guys still have to harvest a few of these. Can you guys stop eating the product before we cook it? Because I got to assume cooking gets a little bit better. All right, but that's going to wrap it up for another episode of Oxygen Not Included, guys. I know, once again, there's so many things I want to do. Uh, now I'm getting a little bit more worried, though, regarding our water situation. So I think purifying this contaminated water is even more detrimental now because we have so much of it around. So again, definitely next episode we'll be doing that. But uh, still, like, we got a lot to do here. Uh, hopefully we can finish up this, bring the water over there, and uh, yeah, I think that's going to be prime focus next time. But still, we're having a little bit of oxygen issues as well. It's not as good as I want it to be, but still, this is our first run through. Uh, biggest stress is 37% though. Navy Otter is really stressed. So I guess we'll have to figure that out next time. She had interrupted sleep as well as she's tired, so that's probably the only reason. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one.